안녕하십니까? Nicolas Inudain. This is Alpine.js in 5 minutes or less. Alpine.js is a minimalist, lightweight JavaScript framework. It is like jQuery for modern web development. Thanks to Alpine.js, we don't have to make a fully fledged React.js application if we want to make our website interactive. With Alpine.js, we can build the interactive components that most websites need, like models, accordions, carousels, tabs or notifications, among others, by writing almost no code at all, as we will see right now. All we have to do is add attributes to our HTML elements and Alpine.js will do the rest. Let's build a simple counter with Alpine.js to see how easy it is to use. First, we import the Alpine.js script in our HTML. Then we are going to create a div and give it the attribute xData, which will have a count property starting at zero. Now any element inside of that div will be able to read and modify the count property. Let's now add a button to increase the count and for this we will use the alpine.js attribute x on with the click event. And finally, let's display the count value to the user using the x text attribute on a span element. Now we test, and as you can see, it works pretty, pretty well. That was incredibly easy. As you can see, all we have to do is add the x dash attributes to our HTML elements and Alpine.js will read them and do the rest. It will even refresh the UI and keep track of the data for us. Let's now build a dropdown component. In a new div, let's use x data again to initialize a open property to false. Inside of that div, we will make a button to change open to the opposite of what open currently is. That means that if open is currently false, it will change it to true. And if open is currently true, it will change it to false. In another div, using the x show attribute, we will tell Alpine.js to only show it when open is true. We will also add the X transition to the div to get a sweet CSS transition when the content shows and hides. And as you can see, it works pretty well, including CSS hiding and showing transitions. How easy was that? We just built a counter and a hide and show component with CSS transitions, writing no JavaScript at all. If you are worried that it might be hard to remember or find all the X dash attributes that Alpine.js has, don't worry, there are only 15 of them. Alpine.js is pretty small, but you can combine all of them to build really cool stuff. I think Alpine.js will be especially useful for people like web publishers that don't want to learn or build a full React.js application, but still want to add interactivity to their websites. Let me know in the comments if you like Alpine.js and what are your opinions on it. And also, if you like it a lot, let me know if you would like me to make a full tutorial on Alpine.js and we will make it happen. And don't forget, if you want to learn to code and you want to do it for free, then please click the link below and I will see you there. Thank you for watching today. Stay happy, stay free. It's Gimchi. Salam hamida. Kamsamida. See you on the next one. Bye bye.